So if you look this up, you'll find that the federal uh, penny counters are uh, wrong again. And they have to do a revision in the Bureau of Labor Statistics to uh, add basically eight, a little over 800,000 less jobs than they thought. That sucks. And that means that, yes, it has been harder than, we th than people have been telling us. And that proves, both mathematically and politically, that we have been lied to about how hard it is to get a job. And so, considering these numbers, keep in mind that these are still not accurate. These are all estimates all the time. And it's in people's best interest that they not be correct, which is why they're now finding problems. Now, they're going to probably do an audit of the process. My guess is they're going to find what happened, try to fix it, or maybe even just fire the guy responsible. But in the end, they're still not going to be correct. And the BLS is on the hook, and they're now, they now have the eye of Sauron on them pretty intently because political parties on both sides are watching them closely because of the election year cycle. And so, of course, the natural assumption is that somebody lied in order to help a political candidate in some way. And so there are people who have jobs to audit this kind of thing. And there are people in the government who have jobs to hunt those people down and figure out what happened. I can only hope that they'd be allowed to do their jobs. Uh, <clears throat> but with that in mind, you should understand that, yes, the job market sucks. And whether or not you're a software development engineer, it's more difficult than people say to get a job, whether you're a waitress, a janitor, a tree trimmer, somebody who works in IT, somebody who works in marketing, somebody who works as a recruiter. It's harder than people say. And so I would ask my community and anybody who wants to be affiliated with it, to please have some grace and treat others with a little bit more respect. Um, and I'm hearing stories of people being told, well, the job market's fine. It's just you. This proves them wrong. And so, I, as you can see, I've, I've definitely been clicking on some of these links. And it's as bad as they say it is, and I suspect it's a lot worse. My recommendation is that it's probably not going to be a matter of only a little under a million I suspect that it's going to be a lot higher when they figure out their own numbers because the Bureau of Labor Statistics data is always wrong. And that's something you have to consider because they intentionally, and they publicly claim this, they publicly admit this, they cap the data that they give out. They don't give you the complete data set and they intentionally make it lower than it really is. And so as part of this, I'm assuming that some of those processes got their wires crossed. And that's what happened here. And that would mean that potentially there are a lot more in the pipeline than they're willing to admit because of politics. And <clears throat> you should take that in mind.